What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're out here doing something a little bit different. We're doing a Govi install rescue. We had the client reach out to us. They sent us a couple of photos. We had strands falling, zip ties around the lights with screws. We had 12 foot extensions dangling off the side. All from them just getting a group of guys off a neighborhood chat. So if you like this content, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of it. As we arrive, we assess what it's going to take to bring this bad install up to par. We noticed two 150 foot Govi non-pro kits were installed. Since we have multiple jumps and brakes in the roof line, we will be using both devices from each kit. The client would prefer the front and left side of the home with lights because it sits on the top corner of a cul-de-sac. So we are going to do just that. As we took a closer look at the lights, we found more blank extensions not properly hidden. You could see the white blank extensions laid across the shingle and the lights zip tied around the screw like I mentioned. No effort was made to create custom jumps and even an end cap was left on this light instead of quickly removing it for a cleaner install. And that velcro strap doesn't serve any purpose there. The lights were placed too close to the wall so we will be pushing them out 2 inches throughout the install. This will get us that clean cone light effect on the wall. In another spot we also found 3M stickers, zip tie clippings, bundle up extensions and lights rolled up with black duct tape. Over time, sun exposure to that tape will break away the adhesive exposing the light lens underneath. These are things that we do not do in our installs. In this spot is where they chose to place both devices and then run an extension cord to power them. A majority of our installs, we place each device close to the front of the house, inside the attic, hidden from sight, and to protect them over time. More clippings and screws were found on the ground. We will be cleaning up that mess, removing screws, and sealing up the holes made. So we started removing the lights and screws to get the install moving. Once the bottom is done, we will then move on to the top. Stay with us to the end of the video for some before and after clips of the install. I will be cleaning up that 12 foot extension by placing it beside the flashing and tucking it underneath the shingles. definitely got to clean that up. With all the lights that were tucked away underneath that duct tape, why not add some lights here? Well, we're going to take care of that. That peak light's not even perfectly centered. The homeowner did mention that the home was freshly painted, so we will have to be very careful removing some of these lights where they have sticked pretty well. We did mention to them that we would touch up any paint if we felt it needed it. Enjoy the time lapse of the Goey Rescue. 
Since the bundle of lights were hidden in that corner, all the lights need to shift to the left from where I'm at. After removing the screws, the wood gets pushed back by the threads, so we use our finger to push it in. Then we fill it in with the silicone. Just after a few days of working on this home, we finally finished the rescue. Here are the before and after clips. What the arrows are pointing at here is how we secure the controller's extension down to the lights and where we drill holes to pass the connections to the attic. On all our eave jumps, we spliced center of the strand and added a 1.5 foot custom 18 gauge 3 pin wire, clipped them, added silicone, and then used a primer and paint can. When looking for someone or a company to install your Gobi lights, don't have them rely solely on just the 3M sticky pad. They must be clipped. Others are now creating 3D mounts or using Raceway Channel for the install. Just factored price increase per linear foot for those type of quotes. Take a look at this mount that one of my subscribers sent me to try out. Thanks for the gift Chris, you rock. Scan the QR code and it will take you directly to my site for alternative extensions, aftermarket clips, and other items used in my video. You'll be able to find 3D mounts for the pros and non-pros at fabricusitsy.com and Galop 3D Prints. I will try to put their links in my description. If you would like us to install your lights, or need us to rescue your install, visit our social platforms at the top of our YouTube page for a quote. Remember, we charge based on experience and knowledge it takes to get the job done at a high standard. Thanks for watching, stay tuned.
For more GoVee tutorial videos.